Dear student and parent, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. This video is going to be about Netaji Subhash University of Technology (NSUT), which was earlier known as NSIT. We'll cover everything like the eligibility, the admission process, the cut-off, the specialization, all about the B.Tech course. So let's first know about the NSUT. Okay, so NSUT offers UG, PG, and a doctoral program in technology and management. It is one of the reputed engineering institutions in India. The institute was re uh, recently recognized by the government of India and turned into a university. NSIT admission is offered on the basis of national level entrance exam. There are 11 departments of NSIT Delhi that offers 32 full-time courses. The top companies that visit NSIT placements are uh, Google, Microsoft, uh, um, Hero, Birla and much more. NSIT average package usually ranges between 7 to 7.5 lakh per annum. So we discussed about the university. Now let's talk about the eligibility to get into NSUT. You need to keep a couple of things in mind before applying in NSUT. Okay, so let's discuss them one by one. So the first one is candidates must complete their class 12 from a recognized board before applying for entrance exam of the university. Second one is that candidates must have physics and mathematics as specialized subjects in the class 12th. Okay. So third one is for NRI candidates. The candidate must carry the passports while the admission process. Okay. And students must score 75% or above in their class 12th. And finally, the candidates should qualify JE mains examination as per merit. So these were the eligibility criteria for NSUT. Now let's talk about the NRI quota to get admission in NSUT. NRIs who want to pursue their undergraduate degree from NSIT Delhi can take admission in one of the best universities in Delhi in the field of engineering through DASA and CIWG quota. DASA is also known as a direct admission of student abroad which comes under the Ministry of Human Resource Development which provides seat reservations and engineering courses to pot uh, potential students who are from India but living in foreign countries. There is another quota for NRI students named Children of Indian Working in Gulf Countries CIWG which helps students in Gulf countries to pursue graduation from Indian universities like IITs, triple ITs, NITs, etc. For NRI students, we have prepared an NRI's ebook related to DASA and CIWG quota. Kindly download this from the link below. Let's jump to the admission process now. NSIT admission to the BTEC program is offered on the basis of JMIN entrance scores. NSUT releases the college-based cutoff specific to different courses after the announcement of JE main ranks. We'll discuss about the cutoff after talking about the specialization. Let's uh, talk about one more important thing which is JEC, Joint Admission Counseling, which is the main counseling body for admission to technical courses of Delhi Colleges. NSIT admission to the BTEC program is offered in 10 specialization. We'll uh, talk about the specializations further. Uh, the admission process is online and for more information you can visit the official website www.nsit.ac.in where you will get all the information related to the university, the forms, the admission procedure and much more so you can check it out. Now let's discuss the specializations. As I told you before NSUT offers a 10 specialization in BTEC. So let's see what are the 10 specializations. The first one is BTEC in Electronics and Communication Engineering. Then BTEC in Computer Engineering, BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering with specialization in Artificial Intelligence, BTEC in Mathematics and Computing, BTEC in Instrumentation and Control Engineering, BTEC in Mechanical Engineering, BTEC in Biotechnology, BTEC in Manufacturing Process, and automation energy, BTEC in electrical engineering and the last one is BTEC in information technology. So these were the 10 specializations that NSUT offers and based on your rank in JE you get admission in one of these. So I hope it's clear. Now we shall discuss the cutoffs that will decide whether you will get into the university with your preferred specialization or not. So basically, the cutoffs are different for various categories like general, OBC, SC, ST, etc. So here is the 
2020 cutoff list, you can take a screenshot. This was the 10th round cutoff for various categories. One thing more, the cutoff for students living in Delhi and those who are not based in Delhi is different. So look for it accordingly. The better you rank, more chances are that you'll get the top course. I hope you have taken the screenshot. Now let's also look into the seat matrix. Seat matrix is basically the number of seats for the specific course. This is also different for the various categories so look accordingly and you can take a screenshot as well for this also so you get a rough idea uh, basically what rank you have to get to get into the university. So now let's know about the fee structure in NSUT for the BTEC course. So the fee structure differs for various sessions. Here is the fee structure taken from the official site according to which the total fees for 21 to 22 batch would be 20 lakh 6000 and for the next batches it would be 21 lakh 90000 and 22 lakh 90000 respectively. This is for the whole course okay. Okay so you can pause and take a screenshot of the fee structure. So here is the fee structure for CIWG quota students. You can look for the fees. It's 26 lakh 6750 for the 21 22 batch. And for the DASA quota students, the fee structure is like this. Oh, hold on, pause, and take the screenshot according to the category you belong. So, I guess I have covered everything. If there is any further doubt, do comment below or connect with us on the link in the description. Do subscribe to our channel to keep yourself posted with new topics.